So I'm just riding back up to the deer spot I was at the other day and I've just seen two roe deer down a little lane. Um, I don't think they've seen me, so I'm going to try and stop my bike, <laughs> my bike again. I'm going to try and sneak around and see if they're still there. Let's see what happens. So I think that's a, a, a red deer and uh, I imagine that's this year's uh, calf with her. See it's a lighter brown and it's got speckles along its back. I'd say it was born earlier on in the season. I'm no expert on the, the growth rates of red deer but yeah, I'd say it's born early on in the season and uh, yeah, still hanging around with its mum. That's actually really nice, isn't it? Come on, look at that, it's beautiful, man. And uh, luckily my arms have now steadied up a little bit from the blood that was pumping around on the bike. Look at that, beautiful. awkward position and my foot is on fire. Well I've got it at a twisted angle but this is worth it. Wow. So I'm zoomed up I'd say they're about 100 meters away from me and are they going to go into the forest or the woods? I'll leave them to it. Right, zoom out. There we go. Okay, what a good start. I'm going to head back to where I was the other day now. Uh, go back in there and see what else we, we see today. If that's all we see today, that was really nice. Fantastic. So I'm not sure the camera will pick this up. But that's Exmoor over there. And uh, yeah, there's a nice uh, this sort of drizzle in the air, or mizzle. And there's a nice rainbow, if you can call it that. I suppose it's more like a, where the water particles start giving that, that, that sphere, the light going through the sphere of them as it's blown across the moors there. Having said that, I would prefer if the rain stayed over there and didn't come this way. Okay, so I'm back where I was the other day. It's been a really good start with those two red deer. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go walk back into this little bit of moor now. Now, I was gonna use the same tactic as I did the other day, to sit on the edge of some scrubland and hope the deers came out. But unfortunately, I've spotted a tractor on the far side of the moor where I was kind of planning to go. I don't, I've not seen it moving. It might've been left there overnight, I don't know. But uh, the noise the tractor can make and the activity it sort of creates may have snookered us somewhat, but, Let's get in there and, uh, well, we'll see what happens. Unbelievable. I've just seen a red deer walk past where I was going to sit up, which is about 80 metres that way. So it did see me, unfortunately. And it's uh, charged off, which is a shame because I hope, you know, it might mean she won't come back. But I'm going to plop down here just for a bit in case there's another one. And I'm going to see what happens. Okay, nothing else to report. I saw that red deer charging off <laughs> right by where I was gonna, well, where I did end up sitting down. Um, but nothing else, that's been a few hours, nothing else. All I would say is today there's a lot more signs of activity, be that deer droppings or deer prints. 
so I'll certainly be coming back here again and uh, yeah hopefully next time I'll have a bit more luck that's what it's about just putting yourself in the in where you think a deer is going to appear and, and uh, seeing what happens anyway uh, those two deer first thing were brilliant so I'm happy with that on its own so yeah it's been a good day